Can I ask you something? Your powers? Could you give me a quick demonstration? Absolutely not. You're not some street performer. Look, I'm sorry, but they're not for show. Ah, really? I was hoping you'd give me another look. But I guess I've seen enough. Adi is as good as save already. How many fucking times do I have to tell you? I'm not your savior. So, this is where the rich folks live. Yep. And they get the best food, the nicest clothes, and the safest part of the city to themselves. They get to run everything just because of who they are. Best not to think about it. Ah, oh, the accident of birth. Curse you, cruel fate. It's her. Oh, don't even look at her. What business does someone like that have in this part of the city? <sighs> that boy is here again. Ignore him. He'll clear off soon enough. Do you want me to call the guards? Only if she does something. Well, of course she will. We'll see, dear. We'll see. This is the Tower of... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Hey, uh, don't worry about it. Let's maybe not go in for the full tour, though. This is the mausoleum. Our souls come here when we die. What are you doing here? And you? You belong in the lower city. Yes! You have no right to be here. Neither of you. Be gone! Ugh, of all the people to run into. Frey saved the city! If anyone deserves to be here, it's her! If she wanted, she could turn you to ashes in a heartbeat! But she'd never do that. Isn't that right, Frey? Okay, can you fucking let it go already? What? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? If you want to save your city, do it your fucking self. You're not dragging me into this. What about our tour? There's so much still to see. I don't need a stupid fucking tour. You're the criminal who came from the corruption, aren't you? Well, stay out of the upper city. We don't want you tainting us with it. <laughs> Look at him, he looks like he's standing guard. That, or he's still petrified after everything that's happened. Yeah, I guess they do have a pretty keen sense of danger, don't they? Please, Frey, wait! Listen, okay? I never said I'd help you. With anything. Ever. Got that? I... I'm sorry! I just... I got carried away, I suppose. Look, let me take you to one last place. Fuck no. Come on, please. I'm not sure he's going to take no for an answer. 
one look at whatever the hell it is, and I'm out. Thank you so, so much! Come on, it's this way. Wait, wh what the hell is this? Thank you so much for saving the city! Our mom said we're not supposed to talk to you, but, but you helped us. Thank you, Frey. They've been wanting so badly to show you how grateful they are. Uh, I... it was nothing. That's not true. And you know it. We're all in your debt. Me included. Wait, is... is this why you came and found me in the first place? Pilo! You'd better not let me find you slacking off, you little runt. Oh, no! Where the heck are you? Get here! Now! Oh, no! It's the boss! Sorry, Frey. I have got to go. What an excitable young man. You know, I've never gotten flowers before. And let's hope it never happens again, shall we? So glad they have cats in Athia too. Let's see. Well, are you going after it? I want to check to see if Bob's doing okay. What do you want us to find here? Aw, is this for me? The crops were ruined. And my dad said if we didn't have any grain, we'd all starve to death. Please, you've got to stop this at once. Sounds like trouble. Yo, what's going on here? The Robian's trying to desecrate a lovely old ballow tree. He's, uh, got himself a mic worked up. He's a blue, and the bloomers too! We've tried to explain to him that he can't just run amok in the grove like this. That there is our last bellow. All right, just cut him some slack, okay? He's been living in the break for the past 20 years. He's just taking some time to adjust. He'll be back to himself soon. Mm. You keep telling yourself that. Father! 
Mother. It's Odin. 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 My dear girl. What are you doing here? I was supposed to see you there. I cannot see you there if you are here. It's all right. I will take you there, and we will be there together. Apologies. Be a good man, Sir Robian, and hand it over. Please, Father, give it to them. Please. <laughs> Thank you. We'll take it from here. Just make sure that he doesn't. He won't. You have my word. Oh, Alden. I'm such a fool. You are no fool. I believe in you. I told them you wouldn't harm the tree, but I never said that I wouldn't. Now is our chance. Once again, breaking the law. I don't do it proudly. But all I do is for Athia. And if my father believes this could help, then I believe it too. Hey, Bob. Strange young girl from another world. Yeah. I, uh, have your notes on the portals. Um, the Tirana? Oh, my. He's much worse than I believed. Forgive me. My mind's a, a, a little wibbly wobbly, wobbly wibbly. Um, Voosh? <laughs> Voosh, Voosh, Voosh. <laughs> yes, Voosh. I need a Voosh back home, where I came from. After I kill this crazy lady, if I survive. You will. I will go back home, or I will kill the crazy lady. One or the other. Maybe both, maybe neither. Ugh. Who's to know? Sounds promising. Yes. Yes, yes, I promise. I will work on making you voosh. You have my word. Mm, terrific. The word of a senile old has been. I am clad. Great. What am I doing in the grove? Let's get you home. Audie. Yes. Come on. I'll catch you guys later. Hey, Cuff. Speaking of Bob, how come he didn't turn into a zombie? He came right through the break with us. I'd say he was mostly break zombie already, wouldn't you? Strange how Auden seems to love Bob so much. Strange? Why? Well, I don't exactly think the world of my parents. I guess being left on your own for years doesn't hit everybody the same way. But why should it? Humans are horrendously complex creatures, after all. Olivia. Apparently knew the kid, but she just stuck with me. She had fire. And now it's been extinguished. Somebody has to pay. Let us proceed to the archives, then. It's in the upper city, right? What's with this weird tree? Interestingly, I don't think it looks like that because of the break. This blue glow. What's that about? The essence of life distilled, if some are to be believed.
Don't you think we'd better learn more about Scylla before charging off into the wilds? are the archives. Catch! Whoa! What is this? And who are you? I'm the archivist. Auden, tell me you were clever. How do you not know what a book is? No, I know what a book is. Ah, 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 ah. You don't look like an archivist. You don't look like a hero. That's because I'm not. I used to be a blacksmith before. Built weapons for the very woman that raided our city. She and I were quite close. She trusted me, and I trusted her. Sorry. No matter, it was another time. She was another woman, as was I. <coughs> Keep up! Is everybody in this town batshit crazy? Okay, so how do you go from a blacksmith to a librarian? Archivist! And a smart woman knows when to shift her purpose for the needs of her people. Catch! What is this? It's the floor plan of Silas Castle. Uh, what are you, my fairy godmother? <laughs> <sighs> name's Johedi. You're the one that's planning on facing off with Sila. Well, the name's Frey, and it sounds like you don't think I'm up to the task. Tanta Sila is the strongest and most formidable of all the Tantas. She controlled the army, crushing the weak, even without the weapons that I forged for her. Crushing them with her bare hands. I'm beginning to have second thoughts about this. This batty old Harrider needs to shut her mouth. You will be doing our land a great service by killing her. Rid us of Tanta Sila, and the corruption in her realm will stop spreading. But no, I doubt you'll actually succeed. Before you go, I would suggest that you learn all that you can about the Tantas. The archives, full of books about them. Definitely not my fairy godmother. So they used to rule Athia, and people used to like them. Yes, although you'd never guess that now. You're here to read, you say? Oh, I, I'm sorry, it's just no one in Sipal has any interest in books these days. say I envy these people. Their rulers did some super fucked up shit. I doubt many of them would disagree. Let's see. A study of miracles. It appears to be an in-depth analysis of what makes the Tantas magic so powerful.
I wonder if you might learn something from it. Pick up some tips and tricks for your own magic, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. I could use the help. Wait, it was the Tauntas who caused the break? What the hell happened to them? I think more than a few of their former subjects came to wonder the same thing. That thing we read, it was written by the first ever Tanta. And it sounds like there might still be more of them to find. Wouldn't hurt to learn more. Guess we could keep an eye out. So, the Tantas had superpowers that they used to keep Atheus safe. And the people loved them for it, worshipped them even. But then something changed. Instead of protecting the people, they started making them suffer. And then the break appeared. An admirably pithy pricey. But it doesn't make any sense. Why would they just go crazy like that? That's enough for now. Think I'm pretty clued up on the Tanta basics. Then I suggest we depart. Anything else you need to do before we leave? Hurry up if you're still not done with what you need to do here. <laughs> Buildings around here look a little shabby. Maybe we could help fix things up. I'd imagine it's more a lack of materials than a lack of will. Wood, in particular. Yeah, I guess it must be hard finding more if you can't leave the city. Interested in these here books, are you? You've got a good eye. They're treasures of a sort, all rescued from the abandoned Cognizance guilds. Oh, cool. Hey, this one actually looks useful. It's about crafting. It certainly seems like it might be worth your while. I'd be happy to give it to you. For a price. I collect old things, see? Find some, and it might just be persuadable. What about this old coin? Well, now, isn't that a beauty? I'll need more than one of those, depending on the book, but here, have a look. Anything take your fancy? Nice doing business with you.
Huh? My friend told me you have a strange glowing object you keep in your pocket. An ob... Oh, you mean this? <sighs> what is that? Uh, it's called a smartphone. Um, uh, how do I put this? It's like a, a thing that lets you talk to people far away, or uh, turn what you see into pictures. Whoa! Does that mean it could turn what you see into pictures of outside support? Yeah, I guess. I've only seen drawings of the outside in books. Could you... could you bring us pictures? I don't see why not. Just don't expect too much, okay? I I'm not a great photographer. I don't know what that is, but thank you. I'm so excited. Okay, so maybe not not worth crap. Not really a big camera person, to be honest. I'm pretty sure they'd be delighted with anything you show them. It's not like they have much else to look forward to. Perhaps it wouldn't be so bad to stop by on occasion, lend them a little cheer. You're right. It won't cost me much, and I bet it would mean a lot to them. Ready then? Yeah. Time to go kill that bitch. I suggest we make our way to the fortress first. It's not too far from the castle. You really do know everything, don't you? No, I simply happen to have looked at the map. 